Hey guys, what is going on? Um, I want to do a product review of the AGB Tech 130 pound maglock and that's this little guy right here. It's for sale on Amazon for $20 free shipping with Amazon Prime of course and um, I bought this lock uh, because I'm going to use it for a project but I was just astonished by how small it is because I knew they made these in uh, different sizes, but I was just astonished by how small it is. Um, the depth of it, uh, the silver part is the mounting bracket, so the actual lock itself is this black portion here. As you can see, uh, it's just over half an inch deep and it's probably about let's see here one two two and a half inches um, long there just about maybe even three uh, just because my measurements are a little off um, this lock runs off of 12 power or 12 volts power uh, DC and uh, for this demonstration I have crudely wired it together. Uh, you definitely don't want to be using this in in a production uh, or in a live environment, but this is for demonstration, so we're not going to worry too much about it. Um, and I just so happen to have an old uh, Netgear AC-DC adapter that puts out 12 volts because uh, apparently Netgear stuff works on 12 volts. Um, again, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the in the product name actually, uh, this holds 130 pounds of force, and what that means is when the lock is energized and this armature plate is against it, it will take at minimum 130 pounds of force to break the magnetic bond. Um, one of the things that uh, I did notice when I was shopping around uh, for a mag lock, uh, the reviews on this are kind of mixed. And I think it's because uh, a lot of people uh, don't have the knowledge uh, of dealing with uh, these devices. Um, as, as I've said, uh, these are commonly found in like office buildings and apartment complexes, airports. Uh, the average person really isn't um, dealing with these. And the one thing that's really important about mag locks uh, to get the best uh, holding force, your plate has to be lined up perfectly and you have to get the most surface area uh, on the actual magnetic part, right? Which is, which are these silver lines. These are the actual electronic uh, magnet. Uh, if you put something magnetic in between, it, it'll stick a little bit, but not that much. So this plate needs to be directly on, just like that and you're gonna get 130 pounds at least uh, holding force. So let's talk about the lock real quick. So as, a, as you know, it's, it's made up of two pieces here. Uh, this bracket uh, allows you to mount the lock from the top, or I guess you could even call it the bottom, and from the back side. Um, so you have a few flexible options on mounting. Um, however, this lock does not ship with, well, number one, an AC-DC adapter. It just, uh, you know, you just get the wires here and uh, you get the lock, you get the armature plate, and you get some mounting hardware. There's no Z brackets, there's no U brackets or anything like that. Uh, so if you need to um, use this on a glass door um, or on uh, or mounting this on the uh, inside of a push door uh, you're gonna have to buy 
uh, brackets for it. So at an added cost or make your own bracket. Anyways, let's get into the demonstration on this because I know that's what you're all waiting for. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And now the lock is energized. Um, this one does not have an LED on it. So you can't see if it's energized or not, which, well, it's a $20 lock and it's small, so I guess it, it makes sense. Um, anyways, I'm gonna kinda do this at an angle here and show you that uh, in order to get the best results from these locks, um, if pretend there's a door here, as you'll notice, it is like very close to the lock, but the plate's not engaging. The magnetic field isn't that strong. It's not like a rare earth magnet where it just sucks it together. So you're not, your lock's not going to work if the door doesn't, or if this plate here doesn't push against the lock. Now you can get really close, and again, it's it's barely there. I'm gonna try and move this so you can see it. You know, it's barely there. I can feel it, but you know, I can I can easily open the door. So the plate, just like that, has to be flush against the lock. So you can see it is. You can't see that lock at all. And this thing isn't going anywhere. Like that is locked. So if that's on a door, that's easily going to take 130 pounds and I don't have the leverage. So I actually have to exert more force to try and pop this off. And I'm just, I'm just not going to be able to do it. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, turn off the power real quick. All right, it popped. And if I put the power back on, it clicks. So pull the power real quick. And I'll show you what's going on here. So there's this little button on this uh, plate. And all that's doing is it's actually pushing. You can see it moves. It's actually pushing this end of the plate, or flip it around, this end of the plate. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you, because this is actually a cool feature. I don't really see that on too many locks. Um, all that's doing is it's helping to break the magnetic bond, because uh, occasionally uh, this plate here, it's, it's obviously, uh, I believe that's steel. Uh, could be, it's, I think it's steel. Um, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But, you know, it can get magnetic. And if I energize the lock, you just heard click, because this end's been touching the lock, this end's pulled away from the lock. Um, if it just sits here like this, like let's say uh, this door's always locked. Uh, eventually this will become magnetized and when it's unlocked as you can see that was that button pushing it away but if it's just sitting here and you go to, to push on the door uh, this is still magnetized so it might actually kind of feel like the door is uh, still locked and that button just breaks that magnetic bond so that way you can just push on the door or pull on the door or whatever and uh, you know it, it doesn't feel like it's locked so that's all that's doing um, but anyways so some of the reviews said that it doesn't hold 130 pounds or it takes less than 130 pounds um, you know to open the door or what have you I have a few theories about what's going on and it's more or less user error uh, perhaps you just eyeballed uh, mounting this 
this armature plate. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. So let's energize the lock really quick. All right, lock's energized, as you can probably see. And let's see what happens if uh, I don't put uh, the pegs in the back here. And over time, this plate just wiggle or you know moves vertically. So there it is. It's it's vertically on. And using some leverage, oh, I might have to flip it, but. Using, I don't want this thing to go flying, so I'm, don't, I'm not putting like a lot of force on it, but I can just slide it off like that. Um, <laughs> cheating, I know. But using a little bit of force there, I popped, I popped the door open, or the liquor cabinet or whatever. Um, the same thing if the plug, you know, it's half on. I can actually, you know, pull it off really easily. Um, if you're using one of these, number one, this should not be uh, securing a um, high security door. But, um, you know, let's say I get one of these and, well, I'm cheap. Um, I put this on one door and I have another door you know, another uh, plate over here on another door. Well, look at that. Um, I just, I just got in. And that's with uh, like 50% of the plate, not even 50% of the plate because the magnet really only is there, you know, over. Yeah, I just got in. So uh, I have a feeling the negative reviews or the one star reviews that's all it is uh, they're not properly lining up the plate when they install it and it's not coming into full contact with the magnet if you don't have it in full contact well it's kind of worthless you might as well have the door open at that point or whatever but anyways um, yeah this lock does as it says. Uh, it costs less than a regular light bulb being left on all day to run, so it uses very little power. Uh, this lock, this particular model, uh, uses 12 volt DC. And um, so, yeah, I could actually leave this here and, you know, I wouldn't notice a, a tick uh, increase in my electric bill, which is great. Um, so yeah, this lock is perfect for, you know, maybe protecting your man cave, uh, the liquor cabinet, you know, keeping the kids out, um, a file cabinet, um, you know, a, a desk cabinet, a closet, whatever. The, the applications for this are kind of endless. Um, these are also good for escape rooms, so if you do... Uh, own an escape room and you are looking for a, a way to uh, automatically unlock doors um, this is actually a, a great option um, because the holding force really isn't that much um, you know it, it's probably real easy to break uh, to break open um, you can wire these things into fire alarm systems so when the fire alarm goes off the magnetic uh, the magnet actually releases um, so yeah uh, these have all sorts of great applications um, this is a great lock highly recommend it and uh, yeah so uh, if you're in the market for an electromagnetic lock uh, highly recommend this one um, and uh, maybe I'll do some some more videos uh, with this lock in the future uh, anyways, if you're looking for this lock, I put the uh, product link in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching.